and first annual uh, Ontario Subregion Man of the Year. And as, all, as we all know, we became a region in uh, July at the last convention. And I'd like to welcome everybody to this morning. I'd like to also thank all the Men of the Year nominees from each club to be here. And we have a gift for them and everybody else. Uh, the purpose of the breakfast is twofold. One is to honor uh, each club's Man of the Year. The other is to raise money for a camp for months, Tick for Fun. And the Tick for Fun allows developmentally challenged teenagers uh, some time at, at a camp and get some fresh air. So we will be raising some money today. Uh, I'm not sure how much, but there will be some money going to Camp Vermont. I'm going to call on Chef Gabar to say a few words uh, as he is the president of Bedside. Uh, on behalf of Bedside, we welcome all of you uh, to uh, this morning's breakfast honoring uh, these very, very committed uh, gentlemen. Uh, I think uh, uh, a word has to be said that each of you are extremely committed to being able to come out here today after the snowfall that we had. So on behalf of that Senate, uh, we welcome you and uh, we take pleasure in honoring uh, the honorees of the morning. Thank you. We all want to welcome you to uh, Bet Sedek. Um, it's our privilege to be a host to the Man of the Year program, um, especially because we have so many wonderful people today. We are going to honor a whole series of individuals who have heard the call and who have gone above and beyond, who have dedicated themselves to our men's clubs and uh, dedicated themselves to our synagogues and in many occasions to the community and to the world. In the case of uh, the honoree from Beth Sedek, as you're going to hear, he's a man who lights a candle. And this candle is not just in this synagogue, but it has, this candle has gone out throughout the world. He did not invent this candle. That came from Jules Serton, Allah Shalom. But when the call came, he and his cousin Morty heard the call and responded and made a project that has changed men's clubs here in Canada, in America, and in Israel, and in other places on the globe. Speaking to our desires to put together a relationship between us and Hashem in the face of one of the great tragedies of our history. So each one of us can hear the call. And may we be inspired today to, even if we regard ourselves as little loves, may we be inspired to be by the examples of the individuals that we honor this morning, to have the courage and the ability to hear Hashem's call when it comes, to be able to rise up and to grow and to hear God's word. Amen. The Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs have about, I think, about over 20,000 members between Canada and the United States. Not too bad. Uh, they have, there's an international executive of which we have two members of our own region, members of the executive. Uh, Bob Kaplan, who's an international vice president, and Stan Greenspan, who is on the executive committee, who is the chairman of the next international convention in Philadelphia in 2009. First of all, it's a uh, pleasure for me to bring to your Man of the Year program um, greetings on behalf of the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs and International President Norm Kurtz. As I mentioned, the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs, or FJMC, is a partnership of over 270 affiliated clubs with 25,000 members across North America, dedicated to involving Jewish men in Jewish life. Many leaders of the 
international level have come from this region. In the past, George Glass, of blessed memory, and Marty Pullock, I see Marty is here. Um, in the present, Stan Greenspan, Al Mervin, Mo Hornfeld, and Neil Bellman. This is all at the international level. In addition, men such as Ted Bluestein, Ron Bolton, Jim Hafitz, Mike Miller, Frank Myers, Cliff White, and Harold Bricks are all playing an important role by being regional officers of the Great Lake region. I want to extend Ayesha Koa to the organizers of this event. The large turnout is a credit to the honorees who through their dedication and service have made the clubs a lot stronger. The Federation is an award for quality clubs, and as international chairman of this program, I'd like every club in this region to apply for this award. In closing, being a region of the FJMC, that's Lake Ontario region, you should always go from strength to strength. And today, with your Man of the Year program, you're continuing on with this tradition. Thanks for your attention. Example around Pesach every year. 